Dividend Investor, bonjour. This is Mike Roux, passionate investor and founder of Dividend Stocks Rock. Today, we're going to tackle another very interesting topic, how to invest $100,000. So now picture this. You sell your property, your business, you quit your job or winning a uh, contest beauty and you get that check and over to you and now it's all yours. You only have to figure out how to invest. So at first, there's that excitement. You're just wondering, how am I going to invest that money? And then you have all those projects coming into your mind and you just like feel like a million dollar bucks, but you're not there yet. You only have a hundred thousand dollars. And then the panic starts. Man, the market is high. There are commercial tensions. There are unemployment rates going up or interest rate going down or going up or the oil is like tackling uh, consumers. And you're wondering, is it the right time to buy? Should I wait? Maybe I should sell a few of my, just not invest at all, right? So let's take a look at how I actually did invest that 100K. Oh man, just wait, wait, what happened? What happened with that shirt, right? So I have to be frank with you. I had to redo the entire video. Not because I'm a fool and I just didn't put it in the right place or I deleted it by mistake, but because I started this video thinking, oh, I'm gonna show like step one, step two, step three, and then going to yada yada and tell you exactly how to invest your money in a like five step process, super boring, right? And you could find dozens of videos like this and this won't help you much, right? So I thought, you know what, Mike, why don't you talk about how you invest $100,000? Because yes, I was one of those lucky bastards that won $100,000 in a beauty contest. Yeah, not so much. Um, I actually quit my job in 2017. I was a former private banker. And when I quit my job, I had the opportunity of leaving my pension plan at my former uh, employer, so which is a Canadian bank. Could have been cool, but I decided to get the check and invest that money by myself. So we're in September 2017. I receive a check of $108,000. And then I start to panic, right? We're at the all time high market. How is this possible? I'm going to make any money out of it. I might as well put it under my bed or put it in a, like a coffee can and like stack that in the rich refrigerator or something or buy bonds and GICs and wait. You know, wait until the feds tell me what they're gonna do with the interest rate. Wait until the next election, or, or wait until the next earnings report, or, or wait until the trade war is over, or, 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 or just wait, right? And I would wake up in five years and I would still be waiting. So what I did is I invested all. It took me actually one month to invest $76,000 and three months to invest the whole thing. So how, how did I did that? Um, first, I needed a clear strategy. I needed to know how to invest that money, why to invest that money. So obviously I'm still young. I have a good 30 years in front of me. So I thought, you know what? I don't mind what's happening on the stock market. I don't mind if the stock market drops by 30% tomorrow morning. I'm not going to need that money for another 25 to 30 years. So let's focus on what matters. Dividend growth, right? So. I established my strategy focusing on dividend growth stocks. The whole idea is to find uh, companies that shows what I call a strong dividend triangle. So we're talking about strong revenue growth, earnings growth, and then dividend growth. May sounds a bit simplistic and I'll get you that, but if you're looking at the first metrics to start up your filter and start your research, those are probably the three key metrics that you will need because a company cannot grow and cannot be successful if revenues are not increasing. And then it's one thing to increase your revenue, but if there's no profit out of it, there's no point. So here's come earnings growth. And once you're making a lot of money, what you're looking for as an investor is you want to have a part of that in your pocket, right? So you're looking at dividend growth. 
So companies showing a strong dividend triangle would be part of my portfolio. So that was kind of like my step number one. I'm like, okay, now I'm, I have a clear strategy. I know exactly what I want to do. And I don't really care about markets. I care about my pockets. Now, what I needed to, because I mean, it's kind of easy saying, oh, Mike, I'm going to focus on great companies. Yeah, I heard that before, right? So everybody wants to do that. Um, so you need a straightforward process. What I did is I used my tools. You know, I've spent years building Dividend Stocks Rocks, building tools to help investors, making their life easier, making their investment process and making decision easy. So I would be a fool not to use my own tools, right? So what I did is I, I head on to my website, pull out our portfolio models, determine, you know what, I'm Canadian, I'm looking for growth, and oh my God, I have $100,000 to invest, and we exactly have a portfolio models for Canadians looking for growth starting at $100,000. So I started with that, but obviously those portfolios have been created since 2013. So some of them shows great companies that had their great run in the past few years, and now you're not too sure if you should still put your money into those, right? You're just like, ah, it's been a great market. I don't know about investing in a how time high, so I'm kind of like a reluctant for a few picks on that. So this is how I use our stock cards and our stock rankings. So we do have like those rankings from one to five, telling you if it's a great stock or a stock that you should scream and sell and just forget about it. So I went through all this, put out a watch list, a complete buy list basically, and then I just started to buy. I mean, it's not that complicated, right? You get your list done, you get your asset allocation, make sure you don't buy like all the Canadian banks or buy all utilities because you don't want to be over concentrated, over exposed to one single sector. So what I made sure is to never exceed 20% in a single sector. So I had about seven, eight sectors in my portfolio, uh, a couple of stocks in each of them, and put roughly five, 6% weight for each stock. So I have a nice portfolio with 20, 21 position, well diversified, and it was kind of like an easy way to build my portfolio. I did that within three months, could actually probably do it within one month, but since I quit my job, I need my paycheck as well. So I was busy working. <laughs> so this is why it took me a little bit longer than expected. But overall, it was kind of like a quick process. And today, so at the time of the recording, it's been almost two years that this portfolio is running, showing nearly a total return of 40%. I'm doing very well. 2018, we had the crash. The market lost like 20% in a flash, kind of like a flash rain for over like six months. My portfolio finished at 5.5% positive return on that year. So I'm not worried about it. I keep investing and I just feel good about it because each quarter I'm getting paid. Actually, each month I'm getting paid. I look at those dividends coming in all the time. I used it to rebalance my portfolio and to invest in new stocks. And I don't really mind what's happening in the market because I have a clear strategy, straightforward process, and I only proceed on concise information. You know, you don't need to read 10,000 blogs. You don't need to go on Seeking Alpha or to go on Morningstar and read like 20 pages analysis for each stocks. You don't need that. That is just wasting your time, wasting your energy, and getting stuck in the never ending paralysis by analysis. And I'm sure you felt that before. You wonder if you should buy, you wonder if you should sell and you just get stuck inside that problem. So now I'm pretty sure that you're wondering what's in my portfolio today. So head over to my blog. The URL is in the website description. It's the dividendguyblog.com, quite easy to remember. Each month I report my income and I report my position. So you'll be able to follow it no rush, no stress, and get a good idea on how I was able to build that portfolio. So until next time, keep investing.